And finally, imagining a world without smartphones and television. In today's weekend showcase, Neil Persley visits Cooper High School, which takes us back to the golden age of radio. At magazines, we go on the air in less than 30 minutes, and everyone is fooling around. WCHS Radio is the setting for Cooper High School's latest original play, on the air in 1940. It's really just a throwback to the 1940s when radio was the number one medium of entertainment and we're just doing a bunch of different skits and commercials and jingles that kind of um, take you back to that time period. It was an interesting assignment for kids who can't imagine their world without television, let alone cell phones. Most of us, we were brought up with technology like this, so speaking like in back then we had to call an operator and they would connect us to someone else and it was a very it was a long process and uh, I don't know what I would how it would be back then. Oh dear there's somebody at the door. The students learned a lot about radio theater and produced their own sound effects live during the play. I think it was really interesting for us to see how much work went into radio even when there wasn't any visual aspects to it. I thought it was really cool to see how much they had to do with special effects or sound effects and um, voice acting and just quick transitions, things like that. You fumble clumsily with the toast. You spill the jelly and it puts too much on. The coffee sloshes as you fill this cup. We got music, we have skits, we have a dance number, we have kind of a montage of what life is like at a radio station outside of the skits. We have something for everyone. Indeed they do. And I give on the air in 1940 a rating of WC for wonderfully creative. For Weekend Showcase from Cooper High School, Neil Persley, CCX News. The shows are this weekend, Friday and Saturday night at the Cooper High School.